Now we are fading in. See how peaceful it is. There's no Chris, man. Chris isn't here for the month. He's busy doing his own projects and his own shooting. He will be back. For now, just you and I. Let's have some fun. Maybe deer. Deer? Are you back here with me? Are you coming back or what? Hey, Scotty! I'm sure all the kids miss me. Right, kids? Not you adults. You adults suck. You guys want the deer back? Yes? Yay or nay? We can shut him up right now. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Break Me Up with Scotty. I'm Scotty. Hi. You're watching Beamus. Where I review alternative bricks like this right here and other fun stuff. Whatever fun stuff there is, throw it my way. I shall do it. Today, we're going to look at Wiki again for the third time in a row. This is their third series. We have not watched my other two. If you like something that looks like this, a nice building for a change, go check out those other ones. This is the continuation of the 80s, 90s house. You know all about them already. Let's just jump right into the set. What you looking at is from Wiki. This is the 80s, 90s house, part three, I guess. They also call this the Time Machine series. I guess it's like a time machine. It's a blast from the past. 516954, 2024 pieces. Hey, that's this year. So here is the box. Yes, there's a set inside this. This one is ready to go, whoever wants this one. Don't forget, these are available on my store on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Thank you so much for your support and for me doing these videos for you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and not shutting me off. Don't shut me off, man. Anyway, this box is nice presentation. Very good. Box can damage easy. And it is like to throw scotch tape all over it. So, yeah, you don't need the box, but we could send it with a box, but just prepared for it to be damaged. Okay, lots of detail on this building. Lots of details on the back there. But don't worry, we'll go through all this. And why is it like so much Chinese all over it? Because this is an 80s, 90s, nostalgic, Chinese, Asian themed brick set. You got dimensions right there. So if you're feeling nostalgic, or you live in Asia, and you moved abroad, and you want a little bit of nostalgia hit, then check this set out, it might be for you. You have three brick lights right there. I did not install them, these are just puny lights. Why waste them in this set? The downside for the set, you get a lot of stickers. Too many stickers, in fact, I forgot to put two on. Just repeating on a, on a piece, but anyway. Okay, good thing about the stickers, the details are really good. Like, I kind of like them this time, I don't know why. The other thing is, is that the amount of stickers that you see here, they almost have this amount of prints inside as well. Okay, well maybe not that many printed pieces, but there are printed pieces. And, you know, I, I was okay with that. I'm like, yo, okay, fine. Here's the book. They do that thing again where they just show the mascot. They don't really show the set there. Is this the mascot's finger? Or is that something else? Chris, I wish you were here, man. I'd like to know your thoughts on that. You do get the set design back there, link, whatever, missing pieces. This one does have a backstory. If I open it there to the first page, it kind of just talks about how this is like reliving the past, the time machine type of thing going on. If you're familiar with a lot of this little product inside there, you might get a blast of, oh, I remember those. And, you know, they put a lot of thought into like, or, you know, detail into the booklet. More about what's going on around here and there. And there's a lot of Chinese in this, so I'm not gonna translate it all for you, but I kind of roughly know what's being shown. And even the figures have their own names. Yes, the set comes with a lot of figures. Yes, I'll put them on the set so you can compare and how they look to scale. All that good stuff. Is Wiki easy to follow? Very. There's a look at a couple pages there. You don't need to see too much. Experience the rest for yourself. I think the only issues I had were like, maybe the colors of some of the bricks kind of looked like one another in the pages. But you'll figure it out. Easy. All right. Let's go back to the set here and go like this and go, I don't even know where the front is. There we go. Maybe this is the front right here. It's a corner kind of displayed like that. Ooh, first impression. Very, very good. The third time for me is a charm. Number one, it's pretty sturdy, except for the base plate. It's not really using a base plate, by the way. It's using multiple plates, just like the other one. The first one was really flimsy, man. The tree like totally fell off. Second one still had kind of like an extension that fell off. This one just feels more refined, more simple. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes it might be better. This one just happened to be the most enjoyable for me. I'm like, I didn't find really much issues with it. I really enjoyed the whole process. I'm like, yo, yeah, it's just a lot of stickers to put on, but so much stuff going on. 
just wish it was bigger. Bigger, better. There's not a lot of trees on the set, thank goodness, man. Like just a couple here that kind of drop over the side of the rooftop, which I thought was really well done. I think the only flimsy part is the rooftop. We'll see that when we pull this thing apart. For now, let's check out the figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They look really good, but they're very close to Big L. However, you can always replace them with your own figures. I like the detail on these guys. Oh, I like the old man. He's like, oh, and like I said, each guy has a story and a name. The two kids in the middle look like they're wearing their school uniforms. I guess, I don't even know who the guy is on the left. And the guy on the left, maybe the librarian. He even has a watch on, which is pretty good. Did I put the right arm on these guys? I might have gotten the right, wrong arms on them, I don't care. They just all look the same to me. Yo, I like the gangster looking guy here. <laughs> yeah. Look at my armband. It looks like two more students on both ends and the lady that runs the Boba Tea place. That's gotta be, she's got the apron on, man. You don't need an apron to read some books. Just to show you the backside, the printing, whether or not you like these guys or not. I think they're fine. I like how they're printing on the feet too, man. They're wearing their shoes. Here you go. Some creases on their shirts. Look, this old man's one looks like it's a sad face or an angry face. It's like, Ugh. can't unsee this now. This is kind of the front right here. What you're looking at is mainly a bookstore. There are a lot of signs. I'm not gonna translate all of them for you, but basically the main banner says like bookstore, stationery store. You got the welcome mat down there, a fire extinguisher box over there. So there is no door, you just walk right into this place. But I like, you know, even the rail in the front there, it's got a little printing on the yellow part and that little box or the stall area. This is just like comic books or extra books before you go inside. I guess these little pieces are little toys that's just for you to buy for your kids or sticks to beat your kids with. The overall colors and the vibe is actually really good, man. I love the fact that it's all paved, it's all smoothly tiled, it's not so studied, but there's a couple of spots here for your figures. And I love this entrance here, it's the same bookstore, but it's on flaps, or it has flaps, but you know, once you push them in, it's kind of hard to push them back out from the inside. But I thought that was actually nice for a change. And the little stripes here, those are all printed pieces. I do like the corner design like this, however, the building is a little bit small on the inside, that's my only gripe. And the set actually does use decals. Not only stickers, but decals here. Like this would be a normal sticker. This is a decal that you had to peel, like put on and then peel it like a tattoo. Once it's on, it's never gonna come off. But I like the attention to detail. And then, yeah, it's supposed to be torn like that. It's like a ripped newspaper. Hey, I didn't do that, man. That's how it was designed. But you know, the window can open up like this. Sure can, I like that. Very nice. Can the back one open? Oh no, I don't think it can. There are a couple awnings here. These ones are all prints, but yeah, you can see here like the sticker kind of going over tiles that will happen in some spots. The sign up here is the wiki guy and it just says like milk tea, all kinds of teas you could buy, grass jelly. And then over here next to the bookstore is the boba tea joint. Lots of details, right? So there are some prints. Some of these windows are printed like these. This might be a sticker, I can't even tell anymore. And then over here, this is the sign for inside this shop for like stationary goods, all that good stuff. Then we come to this side. I, dude, I just love the way it looks like this. Very busy, complex, no doors into the shop as well. It's just kind of open. I like the little details they have there on the sides. Like that right there, the bus stop sign with a little bench on the front. And you have little plants here and there. This one's like a little crystal thingy, or maybe that's supposed to be weed. And even under the window and around it, there's like some small little prints. Be aware because like some of these might be printed on the bricks and you might use them somewhere else by mistake without seeing the other side that there is a print there. So that happened to me a couple times that they like rip pieces off and find the right spot for them. I love the fact that it opens up if I swing it like this is on hinges, but it just doesn't close all the way through. It's like slightly loose there. I kind of wish it closed better, but oh, now we can start to see the inside there a little bit better. Near the window, you got a recycle bin there. It looks like some trash along the floor. And even next to the window, the little square right there, that's like a electric meter or a water meter. And then there's a the back entrance. Finally, a door. The sign above the door is just the name of the shop, telephone number, and that's an open sign. Down below there, it's just the menu again for like what you want to eat or snack on. And in the corner, there's a tiny little kitty cat. It has a little hot dog inside that box. That's where you adopt your kitty. I don't know what the little silver rings. Oh, that must be the food bowl down below. I just realized that 
the food bowl and the, the water bowl for the longest time. Like, what is that supposed to be? So if you want to adopt a kitty, there's a spot for one. Then you got a little table over here for your figures to kind of just chill on these standard bricks and the food right there on the table, some drinks. And along the top, I like this air conditioning unit vent. I like that little piece they're using, it's like a little wheel or something. You know, if I were to remove this umbrella out of the way, which is a nice umbrella, by the way, and that is print, thank goodness, that's not a sticker. Look, you're starting to see more detail right here, which is pretty good. You got another air conditioning vent there. I like how the pipes are kind of going up into that balcony. And I'm assuming that those are mailboxes on the side. It just looks very detailed, but it doesn't look messy, which is what I like. It's very in line with things. This is a very interesting corner. So this is like a scratch door, like a lottery section where you buy your ticket and you scratch it. What's funny is, if I take this off here, I didn't know, man. I was like getting the sticker ready to put on here and I was showing, oh, I lost that thing. I'll get it in a bit, the counter. If I pull this off here, show this to you. But this right here is a real scratch sticker. Like you, it was all silver. And I just like, oh, you can scratch it off. So I scratched it off without thinking, going, oh, wait, this is just a sticker for the set. I thought it was a real lucky scratch thing, but yo, that was actually pretty cool that they really had a real scratch piece there. Don't scratch yours, you know, unless you win your own self a prize, maybe. Just to show you inside the stall, it's just like more lottery tickets, almost like a, like a bingo thing going on. If I lift up the awning there, you can see some detail. You got a stool inside, you can sit down with some figures or the shop owner can be sitting there going, buy some scratchy stickers, see if you can win your million dollars. If I want a million dollars, I don't have to do this channel anymore. I put the counter back on, but you really cannot see that scratch sticker once it's back on here. There's just a little bit more detail here and some items on there. I think that's just more like more lottery tickets that you can buy. And above that, you got the second floor here. And if you're supposed to tilt this down, you can actually kind of see the pipes going all the way through, which continues on the side, by the way, which is really good. But I like the window design here. There's more of these decals on the window itself. This can slide open here, you can let the air in there. The reason you pull this down is because this can actually open up as well. So same deal, really nice concept, but it might not flush down all the way when you close it. But you can certainly see that there's a lot of stuff on the inside there. Again, you're supposed to have a brick light in there, but screw it, we don't need a brick light. Close that. This goes back up here like that. There you go, bang, boom. So finally on this side, you got a balcony there with some flowers. I like the flower designs, how they kind of like go over the awning and even the rooftop there, they kind of, well, you can reposition how you want them to, but it's just kind of bare minimum. So it's not obnoxious and it's not hard to build them. You can kind of like make it go over more if you wanted to or take them away and it wouldn't really be a huge effect. So that was good. And the balcony there, the sign that's hanging down, which is held by a couple of strings and it's just going through the bricks. You just squeeze it down, you can take that off. But it's like, welcome the Olympics or something like that. You can certainly see more decals on those windows. Torn newspapers. See, I'm telling you, man, I didn't do that on purpose. That's how they're designed. Down below, we've got a mobile phone repair center or a place that even sells mobile phones, which I thought was actually really nice, different for a change. But yeah, those are pretty much stickers like on the phone and the sign right there come repair your telephone here. It's a nice little tiny stall, but it's, yeah, it's really small. I mean, there's nothing else in there. There may be some more stickers on the side there. Some accessories, you need some headphones. Just looks like the shop downstairs from me, man. Then over here in the corner, we got my favorite little thing that I like to see in brick sets, telephone poles. This one actually has a camera there, a big arrow sign, it's just not a sticker, it's a print. Yay! and the telephone wires along the top. However, for my one, I did not tie them up, so they're really loose right now, and I just didn't want to just tie it down because you actually kind of need to take them off if you want to take off the rooftop. And my ones were really long, the strings. You might want to cut them up. They're doubling up right there, as you can see, kind of, so it gets in focus. We don't have focus, there we go. Chris, I need you, man. But anyway, they're supposed to be just like two going across, but I kind of like double loop them, so it looks like four, like a lot of wires going along there which is pretty neat. And then we come to the rooftop. For the rooftop, you know, I like the little metal poles where the telephone line's going through. I like the flowers and I like the edge, the design, it's very simple. It was a little bit hard to line up exactly where it's supposed to go. But also one thing to know is that it's really flimsy in the middle. So I was trying to put it on and I pushed down and I just didn't want to take it off to reset it again, but just beware that, yeah, it's a little bit flimsy there. But the blue rooftop for the smaller stall over there, that's really good. 
You've got so many little details there, like satellite dish, a couple of like loose bricks, it looks like, flowers, overgrown flowers going through cracks, and another air conditioning unit there. And also, one thing to point out is that between the rooftop and the second floor, right there, you can actually kind of see these wires. They're actually rubber bands right here, and it kind of goes through on this side. I thought that was a really nice addition. So this makes it look a little bit more busier. I got some electricity coming off this thing. Now it's time to take this thing apart. You just gotta be careful because the telephone pole is all connected with these. That's why I didn't really want to tie it down. So I'm gonna just gonna take this off here. I'll rest this on top and this should be a lot easier to take off. Like I said, I was just a little bit confused like where it lines up to kind of line up because sometimes it might be like slightly off. So I was not perfect doing that. You can see multiple tiles. So you got to kind of like press these. It's just very light. There's not much support on this part. So be careful how you press it down. So now I can put this away. Oh, look, you got little birdies right there. Never even noticed them. Hi, little guys. How are you guys doing? Everyone happy? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Okay, let me come to this floor here. Let's take this one off too. Does it come off nicely? Kind of scared to pull things off, you know. I don't know what comes off and what does. There we go. Ah, oh, very nice. We'll come back to this floor here. Oh, the light can definitely go through here. This is show you. This does not come off because it's connected by the pipes here. But I still like this whole design and look. I thought that was actually pretty good. And does this top piece come off? This rooftop part? Oh, it does come off. Look at that. I've forgotten myself. Ah, nice. Funny enough though, just to show you real fast on this one, underneath, there's a, actually a little bit of space here. You can't really get in there unless I rip this thing off. Let's if I go like this. Oh, look, it's like a little tiny attic there. How cool is that? I don't know what that is, like boxes or something, but nice touch, you know, you just can't really get to it. And this is all easy to put, put on and off. I like that quite a lot. We'll start here with the main bookstore. Again, the flaps here, I thought great idea, but you know, you need to, get in here, take everything off to like make it really straight for your OCD freaks. But a lot of little details. There's a little box over here. Let's, let's see if I can just pull this out to show you guys. You got more and more books, stickers going on top of each other. Oh no, the stickers don't go through there. It's just an illusion, guys. Put that here, put that back here. There's another book over here. More stickers on these books little diary or whatever that is. When you first walk inside, you got this corner, which is really good, man. Backpacks, handbags. I like the backpack I was like kind of built. Those are printed pieces underneath our stickers, like telephones, calculators, toys for your kids. It's like one of those typical stationary old school Chinese shops. They got like everything in there that you could want. We still have those around. Look on the side here, Wee! So right in the middle, you got this counter, lots of little items there or what looks like scissors and pens and crayons and little cup containers. And along the top here, you got even a, like a basketball, which I thought was really good. Little balls there. I think these are tennis rackets. I forgot to put the stickers on. If I go like this, try to take one out and show you like that. Tennis racket, right? It's not tiled, which is kind of unfortunate. But you come to the shelf here. So I'm telling you, man, lots of little details. Let's see if I can just pull out this whole shelf for you. Sure can, that was easy. Very simple shelf, but look at that. So many details right there. It's a little toy remote control car. I think these are like pencil cases. Tamaguchi, the little egg guy, is it? I, oh, no, that's a wiki character. And maybe, maybe not, Never mind. More details there. More little board games there. Classic marble games. And even this one here. What is that? Oh, it's one of those Etch-a-Sketch type of board things. I think yeah, this one is, oh, that's a sticker. Never mind. You know, I can't even tell if their stickers are print. So that's kind of a good thing. Might be a disappointment for some of you guys. Like, no, too many stickers, but it didn't distract me too much. I thought it was actually really all right. There's a closer look at that counter. I like it though. Sailor Moon, nice. If I were to remove this, let's just try to take this out here so you guys can see the back there. Two more backpacks that are just hanging there loose, which is really cool. And more little books along the staircase there that goes up to the second floor. You know, a lot of stuff in this shop, yeah, there are a lot of stickers, but I think it brings it to life and I kind of like that. And look, over here, there's like one more air conditioning sticker. Yeah, bummer, that's a sticker, man. Let's put the shelf back. I don't know, I went somewhere around here. I'll just put it right, right here next to the flaps. And we'll go into the boba tea shop on this side right here. We swing that around, look at that. This place is actually kind of small, but it's a lot of detail there. Look, you got like the little, I think that's like a little fridge 
or warmer, who knows. You know, this is to make the top tea. Maybe this is to, to make ice or squeezing something out of it. It almost looks like a blender, crazy thing going on there. All the ingredients there, all the flavors. It's like matcha, mango, rose, strawberry on the bottom, melon, chocolate, taro, ube, or watermelon along the top. It is a little bit easier to get your hands inside of here. And you can stand plenty of figures in there, but once again, it's not tiled on the inside, unfortunately. I like the little counter in the middle. I'm gonna just try to pull this off here, take this rooftop off. And by the way, the way they designed this right here is, you know, really simple stuff. I thought that was like really a nice attention to detail. But you can start to see more things here. This is the one that was on the outside that we saw earlier, the menu. It's just a couple of like, condiments there. This one is hot dog. There's a sticker of a hot dog there. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. So there's a hot dog stand there. And then you got this counter, which is kind of like the ice cream or cold drinks. Over here, you just got a couple stools there. And once again, this is the area that is not supported now, but you're supposed to swing that open. And you can kind of see the guys chilling inside. So overall, not bad, right? It's a pretty good room. Now you can really get your hand in there. Now that we're done with that, surprisingly, that's pretty much more or less it, except for the next floor. So my only bummer is like, oh, the rooftop on this one, no more floors. There's only one more floor after this, and it gets, it's gonna get a lot smaller. So it's not like using up all the plate, which is kind of the bummer part, but still, what a great little set so far. This is the final floor in my hand. And once again, it's not tiled on the inside, unfortunately, but that just means you can put more figures. And as I showed you earlier, how that opens up right there, now you have like so much stuff in here. And I think there's actually one loose book that's supposed to like sit here. This is like the library area, I guess the chill. There's no, it's not an apartment. It's not a house or anything. So it's kind of cool that they kept it within line with the theme. They didn't do the shop downstairs and oh, you have an apartment up there. This is just strictly to come upstairs and just check out more books and chill and read. So yeah, even though it's really small, I do like that there is space to get in here. I still like the colors. And I'm okay with it being like not overly insane or like weird objects inside. There's this area here, the staircase that goes up to this floor. Thank goodness for that. So when you walk up, you got a, like a blessing sign here. That's the thing that you see all the time in homes. And this is like a sign that says, you know, go find your book, read your book, something like that. I like the bookshelf over here. And you know, it's like simple pieces, but like I said, a lot of those are prints. A lot of them are stickers. So it's kind of a blend of, both worlds combined together. You can see my aircon sticker is kind of folding out. Push that back in. That's the same one from down below. You got a table there in the corner so you can read some more of your books. And even along the floor, more books scattered right there. How are we liking this so far? Nice library or too messy for you? I do like the little fan right here. I think it's supposed to be up like that. There you go. That's a nice idea. You guys can use that for your other sets. Simple. Look at that big fat book down there. Huge, man, that's like a Bible. And then finally, you got these two counters over here. It looks like they have more telephones. Look at those apps, man. The detail on the stickers are pretty good. I think this is like a laptop, not a book. It's like an interactive book, or is it a laptop? There you go. You can see the sticker in there. It's supposed to just lie down here. And boom, there you go. Okay, here's the guys on the set. I kind of kept the top floor off so the light can come through. You can see a couple of the guys there on the, f f the side anyway. I, li I like the colors, man. I'm still like, whoa, it looks really nice on camera. If I swing it to the side here for the boba tea place, open this up here like that. You can see the two students inside and you can actually see the lady in the apron behind there on the counter. It was absolutely easy putting them inside the set. It's not too crazy tight. You can come over here on the outside part. You got the two students on this side here. They're, I need to buy a telephone. You got Mr. Gangster there in the middle going, let me find a phone for you. You need an iPhone 5. That's all we have here, because it's 89, maybe not even an iPhone, like Nokia, whatever, flip phone. The Nokia taco phone. Anyone had that taco phone? I did, I really did. I still have Tomb Raider on that thing. So if I come to the lottery side here, I put two people inside. They can fit inside here. You can put the awning down a little bit. This is nice and printed, by the way. So it's not a sticker, thank goodness. And then I come over here. You can see the guys chilling there. Maybe this guy waiting for the bus. Two guys at the table having a drink. And the old man back there with his kitty to adopt. So I like the vibe, the feels are really good. 
Now, let's see how they fit on the second floor. So what I like about this one is, yeah, you can open this up and you can easily get your hand in there. You can place the guys very nicely inside there. You can fit probably a lot more guys in there, but scale-wise, I think it's really good. You can see right there. Nice, right? You can put more guys on the balcony as well. So if I were to put this all together, put this back on here like so, line it up nicely. It's very easy to put together. Then put this one back here, which I thought couldn't come off at first, but yeah, I'm so happy that this can come off nicely. One thing I do remember is that, you know, don't forget to put this down and so you can open this up. This part might be a little bit tricky to put together just because it's like a corner piece and, you know, things might want to pop off, but it's pretty easy to put back together. And finally, we get a rooftop. Put it this way facing here somewhere like this, I guess. Doesn't really matter once you put it there. It should look a-okay no matter how it looks. See, the, the strings came off the telephone pole. I'll put the pole back here like this. Slide it back here, line it up like that. You know, rewire this whole thing back to normal like that. And, you nice little place. All right, so there you go. Wiki's 80s, 90s time machine capsule kind of apartment place if you're into like buildings. You want a little bit of Asian vibe to your brick city? Yeah, go for it, man. Totally support this one. I think this one's really good. Don't forget, it's available on my store on brickmeupscotty.com. Thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with even more videos for you. More collaborations. Are you ready? We'll keep the ball rolling. It's going to be a crazy December, I guess. November, December. All right, until next time, you guys. Brick me up. Pew.